Hello, Fibernetics. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to do a little featurette for you guys on what a day um, as a wool broker actually looks like behind the scenes. Because um, a lot of people don't really know what I do or they've never heard of it before and they're not really sure how it works. So I'm going to give you guys a little uh, behind the scenes peek as to what I'm going to be doing today um, before our big Lester Longwall sale. I'm headed out to a farm. I'm not driving right now in case anybody's freaking out. Be safe. I'm not driving. Um, I pulled over. I'm in the heart of rural Minnesota, which is very cold and gray right now, but it is also 34 degrees outside, which is awesome. So anyway. A um, little quick intro to this, um, the shepherd I'm going to be visiting today, his name is David, um, he has Lester Longwool sheep and he just got some Wensleydales, which is super exciting. I've been uh, working with him for about three years now and it's been so much fun to watch his flock progress and see the fleeces that come off every year. I go and help with shearing um, and I'm pretty sure the way that I started um, coming out here was actually just sending him an email. I do a ton of behind the scenes research and networking with, with shepherds, with people that know people that sell fleece or have sheep or whatever. Um, so I'm constantly sending out emails and calling people and just saying, hey, I saw you have sheep. You know, what do you do with the wool? And um, yeah, about three years ago, I came out here for the first time and got to see the sheep and see the farm and how it works. Um, I love being able to support local farms, so that's one of the reasons why I try to do that whenever I can. I don't only work with small farms in my area because there's just not enough of them um, for the size of a group that I have, um, but I do work with a lot of, they're all small family farms. Everybody that I sell from is small family farms and they're awesome. So we're going to go see some Lester Longwell sheep. It is super dry outside, hence the super chapped lips that I have, but it's all real. So here we go. We're going to go see some sheep and hopefully um, meet David the Shepherd as well. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Are you the greeter? Hey guys, I'm here at the farm and I'm looking over these amazing Lester Longwool fleeces for you guys. They are absolutely stunning. And basically what I'm doing right here is I'm going through each bag and I'm testing each staple. So I'll grab um, a couple of locks from each fleece. I'll test them um, to make sure that they're sound. And then I also go through the bag and I try to see if there's any areas that are, um, like how much of the fleece is, is top quality stuff, if there's anything at the bottom that's, you know, britchy or whatever that we can pull out. So we're just kind of going over and doing a quick once over of all the fleeces. I'm writing down each fleece so that I know the name of the sheep or the number of the sheep, how many pounds it is so that when I take these home, I actually have a clue which one is which. Um, yeah, and they all look so, so good. So now I'm just going to make my final choices as to which ones I'm going to bring home to do on the sale for you guys. And then um, we're going to go out and see some sheep. So yeah, that's what we're up to.
<laughs> all of my Lester Longwool fleeces. And apparently there's a monster in our house, so look out. Um, so I've got all the fleeces back. I just got back from the farm. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of getting a little bit of a sneak peek <laughs> into the process. Um, and I will continue to try and uh, document some of the behind the scenes stuff for you guys. So anyway, I'm about to go live in the group to show you guys a little bit of a sneak preview before the sale. So I hope you guys all have an awesome rest of your Sunday. Yeah.